Um, let me see. So before we get to this, this other, this other uh, the game from last night, I do want to see what you think about this Davis versus Garcia fight. Garcia. Huh? Garcia. What? Garcia. It's not even close. Garcia. Why? Why? Because I, I look, I, I like both fighters. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Tank, dog. I would never take anything from them. But that's the reason why I'm so split down the middle of this fight because I, I love both these fighters. Okay. I respect them. But how, how are you split down the middle when because you just the, said Garcia because, three times? Because the stipulations that Garcia has to meet to be able to have this fight. Like getting dehydrated the night before the fight. Like why? Whose fault is that? No, why is Davis making that a stipulation? Why are you making this boy dehydrate the night before the fight? He has to be this certain weight with the day he steps into but who, the ring. But who? But who? That, that ain't that ain't uh, that ain't Tank's fault. I know that Garcia agreed to it. That, that's hundred percent his fault. But the thing is, that proves right there Garcia wants this fight. So you being biased then? I'm not really being biased. As the fact is, you're so worried about this man being ten pounds heavier than you the day of the fight. That's what boxing is. You got to make a weight or you can't fight. You make the you make the weight. The day of the weigh in the night before the fight. And then all of a sudden, what do these boxers go do? They go eat and go stuff their face. They're 10 pounds angry. Yeah, that so that that, that's his problem. If he can't make the weight. No, he makes the. No, he's going to have the same weight. But that same morning, that like hour before the fight, Garcia has to weigh in again an hour before the fight to make sure he's still the same weight. Come on now. Why does he got to do that? Are you sure about an hour before? That's, a de- that's the dehydration clause. Go look in the contract. The dehydration clause is causing Ryan Garcia to weigh in an hour before the fight to make sure he's out weight still. So, man, man, he's probably on steroids. Or he's just because he's fucking four inches taller than him and he's fucking huge. Man, look, <laughs> if there's a contract like that, I'm going to assume that dude be using some that shit. Oh, he's been oh he's been accused of it. And Gar- okay, yeah, then. Tank, that, Tank like, has been saying that a lot. He has been saying that Garcia's on that I, shit. I, I never heard this before, and I'm immediately thinking that. Yeah, like, Garcia, yo. he's been accused of it, which and I which I get. But I so you going with Garcia because you think he on the horse track lines? You think he on you think he gonna whoop his ass with with the horse track lines? No, I honestly the reason why I'm going with Garcia because I think personally, I think Tank's not taking him serious. No, I don't think no, he's taking him as serious as Garcia's think... taking Tank. Garcia knows Tank. Will beat the dog shit out of him if he let, if he slips up. He knows that. I, Tank's not giving this kid no credit. I don't care if he's a child. Okay. He's not giving him credit. No, don't I'm, sleep I'm on a, this kid. I'm gonna go with Tank, fam. Why? I'm going with Tank because, fam, there is something to be said about somebody who is going out there. Cause see, I think you got this shit backwards. I think that you're looking at this as the new up and coming kid. Blah, blah, blah. Um, fam, Tank is going out there fighting everybody, bro. The last fight, he would have lost that fight if he did not do that. Yeah, but I'm... Tank loses I'm, that fight but, if he don't sleep him. But what I'm saying is, is when have we seen a, a, a guy who's killing everybody, but is accepting every fight, whoever it is, crunching so, them. But why did it take him so long to accept Garcia's fight for the last past two years? Fam, Garcia but kept saying, he, I want this fight. He didn't fight. fuck these other guys in between. I don't care how, I don't care how long it's taken. I'm saying... I've been seeing him fight prime time after prime time mm-hmm. lately, bro. Yeah, he has. I give him credit and, on that one. And fam is elusive. Like, fam got defense, bro. But here's the thing. The last fight, he wasn't even getting off like that. He was just doing more defensive shit. And that's the thing. About I feel fight. like on this dude, he going to get it off. And that's the thing. Both these guys are kind of defensive fighters. That's why I'm That's why I'm, I'm praying to God this is not a defensive fight on both sides. It is going to be a defensive fight. And, and I hate about? that because I feel like this. everyone's thinking, oh, no, Tank's going to knock him out. Garcia's going to knock him out. I think it's going to. That's why when you say. Is Garcia hands down? I'm like, what are we talking about? Because I think that defensively and, and, and more elusive is Tank, right? As far as moving, avoiding shots, all that stuff. But when Tank get inside the body, because now do got to actually reach in there, mm-hmm. I feel like that band's going to be Tank. The difference is the Tank, if he's with a body blow, if he's with a one-two joint, you might be laid out. Yeah, true. Yeah. Unless Garcia with the with the, but the, with the horse tranquilizer. The Look, I do not know if this man take drugs. I just had that thought because I'm like, why does he have to do that before? The, oh yeah, you know? and but the reason why I feel like this is different because of Garcia, Tank's never seen someone this fast either. The the past five fights that Gar- yeah. that Tank's had, these dudes don't got the speed that Garcia. Yeah, but has. but these are top tier dudes. I don't give. I look every look, man. Look, my my brother's a boxer, right? Mm-hmm. So, boxing is, like, kind of in our lineage. I, I boxed for a long time in the military, too. Carson Jones, look him up. That's my brother. If y'all know, you know, shout out to my brother. Um, but, yeah, Car- my, my brother fought Kell Brooks. You know mm-hmm. Kell Brooks? Is? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. He fought Kell Brooks, like, three times, bro. Damn. Yeah, like, my, my brother's pro-pro. Mm-hmm. Um, so, he was decent. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he didn't go as far as I, I believed he could. 
Uh, he still boxes to this day. Does but he have a perspective of who's going to win this fight? Fam. He's in the tank, bro. Like that. That's he, said, he said with these? Fam. Tank. Like, didn't even. Looked at me crazy. I only say this because. Okay. Name me, name me the last. Can you, can you remember the last five people that day Garcia fought? No, last no, no. That's my point. <laughs> he ain't, he, bro. There's something to be said about somebody who's fighting the the creme de la creme over and over and over. You, bro. It it's like Floyd Mayweather went, went, went. Okay, so at first everybody was like, Floyd, you ain't taking no fights. But then he would take people's. He would take people. Now, now he would do certain shit like you know what I'm saying. He take them at. He'll take them when they out of their prom. Like Manny. But them Pat dudes yeah. was still net. Okay. Perfect example. Manny Pacquiao. After he fought Pacquiao, what did Pacquiao do? Uh, he kept fighting. He went and killed everybody in the league. He did. So, can we really say that Pacquiao was out of his prime? I don't know. Let's Okay, let's say, let's say when was the last time Floyd fought McGregor? Was that four years ago? Well, McGregor ain't really. I, I oh, he, no, 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 no. That's not the point. That's not the point I'm getting okay. to. He fought Canelo when Canelo was a rising star. Right. And now Canelo killed everybody. Does he beat Canelo three years later after that? Fuck well, him. three years later, no, because he retired then. I don't care. Floyd was still fucking 47 years old. Right. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying then is when Floyd retired. So yeah. I wouldn't have wanted to see it. But before before he did that, Cornell was killing everybody. He was yeah. killing pro- top prospects. And after that, he was killing them. So I just tell, that's what I'm saying. Like with Floyd, it's like, fam, you just got to get this man his flowers. He's smart because he knows when to fight these motherfuckers. So going back to Tank. That's why I'm like I got to go with Tank because Tank is Tank is taking every person that walk up to the ring and hey, I'm gonna drop your drawers and do something no homo you know what I mean every time right and he's just laying them out yeah. it don't matter what he's getting so and he had I'm a, looking at Garcia like a fam unless you take a horse trade with Andre you ain't winning he's gonna have to be on his toes he gonna but, have to but, be on but, some but horse trade but I think I think this is gonna be the smartest fight he's ever fought because Tank even said if you want when is the fight Saturday. Mm. The fight Saturday. I already got it ordered. Interesting. I sat here and I watched the Showtime. You can see him watch it if you're on Showtime. Tank said he always invites his mom to the fights and his kids. He said, I always bring my family to the fights. He said, unless I don't want to bring them to the fight because I thought it's going to be a dog and it's going to get ugly, I don't bring them. Tank sat there and looked at Showtime and said, my mom's not coming to this fight. My mom will be watching that fight from home. He's like, because he feels like, he's like, I'm not sleeping on Garcia. He's like, this is going to be a dog fight. Tank knows this is going to be a fight. But that, but that's my point. You you just said that you don't think Tank's gonna take him seriously. Now you're you're literally walking it back. It sound like you said Tank noticed you don't be serious. Because I see I remember watching the interview now on on YouTube. I remember watching this interview. And that's why I'm going with Tank. To me, it sound it sound like you saying Tank is gonna be the more serious guy about this shit. I think they're both taking it fucking serious. I feel like this is a life or death fight for both. It's a professional fight. Nobody's not the biggest one serious. in a long time too. Nobody's not taking it serious. It's just gonna be certain situations. And fam, I've been looking at Tank do some of his training. Fam, his training look crazy. Oh yeah. His training look crazy for Tank. So look, I mean hey, look, whoever wins, you know what I'm saying, you know, kudos, probably getting that bag for sure, but But P- but here's the at the end of this fight. Uh, we'll stand on one thing. Garcia will get respect in this fight. I mean, he's going to get respect regardless. He's going to get when more. Lose, when or lose, he's getting respect. He's going to get fight. more money. I'm just saying, I, I'm i going for Tank, man. I'm how, just going for Tank. How old is Garcia? 22, 23? He, he, and that's nothing that he's young, fam. Like, Tank is a little older. So I think Tank, what, like 29, 30? Yeah, yeah. like, t- fam, Tank probably got five years left, maybe. Five, and I mean, to the yeah. max, we're talking about 10. Max, like don't nobody go past like fam. Look, look at Floyd. Floyd, Floyd, Floyd still want to fight, but he don't want to fight no killers. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's like, ain't nobody trying to go that trying to go that long. You, you, you gonna fuck around, and be senile if you fight yeah, that long. Because him and Tank were beefing not too you long ago. Gonna have some CTE in real life, yeah, my G. Because him and Tank were beefing not too long ago. Yeah, you gonna be a thrust master for real. But I'm, mean, I'm just saying, like, if you doing that, it don't make no sense. So to me, he only got like five, you know, five to eight left. And then after that, he gone. Like, he gone, you know, ride to the sunset. So, that, to me, Garcia's going to lose. He's probably going to be too green to the situation. And then... You think he's going to try to go for offense too much? I think that... I think he's, he's going to be too greedy. You think he's going to try to go for a knockout too fast? I think he's going to be too greedy because the dude that he fought, the tank fought last time did that. He felt like he had him. It looked like he had him. It looked like it. And he was like, yeet. 
Like, hit him no, with the... Yeah. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We, we ordered that fight. Tank was getting his ass. Yeah. Now, and then that fifth round, fifth Boom. round, dude got, started getting tired. Man, Tank dropped him with that but reverse see, But see, to me, I don't feel like you getting your ass with it if, if you ain't tired. If you ain't tired, he purposely let you tire yourself out. Oh, yeah. If this is a 12-round fight, you tired about the fifth round, it's done. Oh, yeah. Keep GGs. Hitting. Keep hitting. Yeah, keep hitting me. GGs, my man. So, 